has lost two straight games but are getting Greg Hardy and Rolando McClain back from suspensions. Skip, do you give your Super Bowl pick, your beloved Cowboys, a shot against your other Super Bowl team, New England? <laughs> That's a good question, Molly. Mm. And I don't have a great answer, but I'm just going to give it to you straight, Stephen <laughs> A. Smith. My Dallas Cowboys yeah. have no shot against the New England Patriots. Thank you. They have zero shot. They have no Thank chance you. shot against Tom Brady and Bill Belichick and company coming mm -hmm. to Jerry World. Let's think about right, this. Right. Bill Belichick with two weeks to prepare against my Dallas Cowboys coming off a bye week. Tom Brady who's on a mission to deflate every opponent on his schedule, if not annihilate every opponent. Next up, my Dallas Cowboys. Tom Brady, who could be a little miffed at, if not angered by, and certainly inspired by the comments that Greg Hardy gratuitously made about Giselle, his wife. Really? My Dallas Cowboys, who never seemed to play very well at Jerry World, who last seen at home, we're getting blown off the field in the second half by the Atlanta Falcons, those Dallas Cowboys. Stephen A., I'm sorry. I, if, if, we, if we're talking about, I have Tony Romo, I have Des Bryant, I have Skandrick, I have Lance Dunbar, I have a healthy Sean Lee. If, if you tell me that, we could have a different conversation. But Greg Hardy's return, Rolando McClain's return, will not make that much difference against the best quarterback in all of pro football and the most explosive offense in all of pro football. Now, the only hope I do have is that New England has been giving up an NFL worst 4.9 yards per rush by the opponent. But the last couple of games, I gotta tell you, my offensive line has not been winning the line of scrimmage. They're supposed to be the quote unquote best offensive line. I challenge you, offensive linemen, show me. Don't tell me, show me this Sunday against the New England defense, it's a little vulnerable that way. Show me Joseph Randall. Show me Darren McFadden. Show me Kristen Michael. I don't know. Somebody show me because I'm not buying it. I don't think that will be a big factor in this game. The New England Patriots are averaging 40 points a game, and I think they're going to get 40. I'll give Brandon Whedon, who's played a little better than I thought he could, I'm going to give him 20. But Stephen A., would, would I love to see my Cowboys win this game? Sure I would. Did I pick them to beat Atlanta and, and then win at New Orleans to try to bank two more wins to get to 4-0 and and then just try to ride out the storm before Romo and Dez come back? I picked them, and they, they came up short both times. Fought hard at least for a half against Atlanta and took it to overtime at New Orleans, but it wasn't enough. So now, I'm sorry, I see New England 40, Dallas 20. <sighs> well, you know, let me say this, Skip Bayless. I'm so proud of you. I mean, I'm, I'm you. touched. I'm, I'm, I'm touched that, you know, you just came to your Should senses be. at least with one topic for this show. I mean, the fact that you pulled this off once a month is a miracle. So huh. uh, I guess this was your month. I mean, you, you actually sound sane and reasonable. Um, you know, you're always factual. You just leave out the facts you want to leave out because you know it'll hurt your argument. Mm. You look high and low, you know, I, I mean, all over the place for a reason uh, to make a case for your Cowboys. And you came to the conclusion that this just could not happen. And so I'm very, very proud of you that you recognize that for the third consecutive week, the Dallas Cowboys are going to go home losers. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. It's just a matter of how, how quickly the annihilation is going to kick in. I mean, do you realize that Deion, some dude named Deion Lewis, is the second leading receiver on the New England Patriots? I mean, he's got 15 receptions. Yeah, and they just gave him a big new you know contract. What I'm saying? Actually, actually yep. third. Actually third. It's behind Julian Edelman and Rob Gronkowski. Mm -hmm. And then it's him. Do you have any idea that they, even though they don't run the football that much, they have two running backs running over four yards a carry? And, 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 Leon, and Deion... And um, LeGarrette Blunt. The fact of the matter is, is that so, as we look at the New England is? Patriots, they're just, I, I'm, I think the only question is, is the, are the Dallas Cowboys going to make this interesting or is this going to be the Patriots against the Jacksonville Jaguars? 
I mean, if you, you can make you actually can make a legitimate argument that the Patriots may be the only team in NFL history that had three consecutive bye weeks. You had the Jaguars, then you didn't play last week, and then after that you got the Cowboys this week, which is probably gonna be a bye week. <laughs> you know, I mean that's just what I see right here, Skip Bayless. I'm trying to wonder, really, from the bottom of my heart, that. I'm just I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to look at it. And I'm just saying, the Patriots, I mean, not only are they winning football games, but they're getting quality time off to rest their bodies. Uh, and so it's going to be real interesting to see. My prayer is that since it is nationally televised and since America's supposed team is going against America's real America's team, which is the New England Patriots, my only hope oh, that's wrong. is that oh. the Dallas Cowboys don't embarrass themselves, don't embarrass you, and get beat down so badly that Jerry Jones will panic and he will rush Tony Romo back in there with a slink for crying out loud if he has to, okay, to throw the football. Not that Brandon Whedon has been back because I don't think he's been bad. I don't think he's the reason the Dallas Cowboys have lost these games. I think their defense is responsible for the loss in Atlanta, and I think their defense is responsible for the loss last week in New Orleans. OK, so if you lost to Atlanta and you lost to New Orleans and now you're going up against the New England Patriots and suddenly you're off, your defense is going to be better. And oh, by the way, Greg Hardy was not only talking smack about Tom Brady, but he used his wife and, 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 and talked about how he hopes his sister comes too. I mean, really? You did something like that? Really? I, I mean, it's, it's quite yes. bad. It's quite bad. But I will I will acknowledge this for the first time. I consider the Dallas Cowboys must wa must watch television this weekend. <laughs> I can't wait. I just yeah. can't wait. It's going to be a the, beautiful, beautiful thing, yeah. Skip Bayless. I'm going to have a ball. I'm going to have my popcorn ready. I'm going to have my popcorn ready, <laughs> oh, <laughs> have my popcorn ready Skip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me, me, let me jump in here to, to interrupt your, your act that you're putting on, your shtick. Um, oh, the, the truth oh, is, please. you watch every minute of every Cowboy game. You're fascinated by them. Really? You're actually a closet really? Cowboy fan, but that's okay. We won't out you on this show. Mm, and whatever. here's the bottom whatever. line, and I, I do I, <sighs> I appreciate you repeating my case back to me, but here's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. I, I want to impress mm -hmm. this upon you. Be very clear mm -hmm. with this. I am not mm -hmm. giving up on my Cowboys' long-term chances this football Boy, season. Steve. Romo will come back. The shoulder will be uh, out of the sling. He's supposed to be even ahead of schedule. Yeah. Des Bryant will yeah. come back. They will start getting yeah. healthier and hotter, and they will get on a, a late roll. And you better be careful. If they even eke into oh, the I backside of the playoffs, get that last <laughs> available berth, you are in trouble because you will fear what my team turns into once it gets healthy <laughs> and hot. Hey, remember what That's I said. That's all you want. I will you have got, the you, last you laugh. You mentioned, you, mentioned all, you mentioned all of these names. You mentioned all of these names, right? Are you sure they're going to last, Skip Bayless? Are you sure they're going to be there for you in the end? <laughs> Greg Hardy, there. Rolando McClain, Randy Gregory, okay? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, Sean Lee, he'll be, be there. Be back. Tony Romo, he'll be back. You sure they're sure they going to be there for you, Skip Bayless? Are you sure? They'll be there for me. <laughs> I trust them. <laughs> I believe in them. Sure. sure. Why do you have to stress them out the on a faith. Friday, Stephen A? Keep the faith. <laughs> Keep the I'm faith. not stressed. Keep I'm the fine. Faith. Yeah. It's just it's just a mere yeah. bag of shells. All right. So we both have New England <laughs> New England you know? winning. Up next, we're going to get into the team that they faced in the Super Bowl, the Seahawks. Ooh. For the last few years, Jimmy Graham has been the league's best receiving tight end, but his blocking, on the other hand, has some concerns. We'll get into that coming up. Has lost two straight games, but are getting Greg Hardy and Rolando McClain back from suspensions. Skip. Do you give your Super Bowl pick, your beloved Cowboys, a shot against your other Super Bowl team, New England? <laughs> That's a good question, Molly. Mm. And I don't have a great answer, but I'm just going to give it to you straight, Stephen <laughs> A. Smith. My Dallas Cowboys yeah. have no shot against the New England Patriots. Thank you. They have zero shot. They have no Thank chance you. shot against Tom Brady and Bill Belichick and company coming mm. to Jerry World. Let's think about right, this. Right. Bill Belichick with two weeks to prepare against my Dallas Cowboys coming off a bye week. 
Tom Brady, who's on a mission to deflate every opponent on his schedule, if not annihilate every opponent. Next up, my Dallas Cowboys. Tom Brady, who could be a little miffed at, if not angered by, and certainly inspired by the comments that Greg Hardy gratuitously made about Giselle, his wife. Really? My Dallas Cowboys, who never seemed to play very well at Jerry World, who last seen at home, were getting blown off the field in the second half by the Atlanta Falcons, those Dallas Cowboys. Stephen A., I'm sorry. I, if, if, we, if we're talking about, I have Tony Romo, I have Des Bryant, I have Skandrick, I have Lance Dunbar, I have a healthy Sean Lee. If, if you tell me that, we could have a different conversation. But Greg Hardy's return, Rolando McClain's return, will not make that much difference against the best quarterback in all of pro football and the most explosive offense in all of pro football. Now, the only hope I do have is that New England has been giving up an NFL worst 4.9 yards per rush by the opponent. But the last couple of games, I got to tell you, my offensive line has not been winning the line of scrimmage. They're supposed to be the quote unquote best offensive line. I challenge you, offensive linemen, show me. Don't tell me. Show me this Sunday against a New England defense that's a little vulnerable that way. Show me Joseph Randall. Show me Darren McFadden. Show me. Kristen Michael, I don't know, somebody show me because I'm not buying it. I don't think that will be a big factor in this game. The New England Patriots are averaging 40 points a game, and I think they're going to get 40. I'll give Brandon Whedon, who's played a little better than I thought he could, I'm going to give him 20. But Stephen A., would, would I love to see my Cowboys win this game? Sure I would. Did I pick them to beat Atlanta? And, and then win at New Orleans to try to bank two more wins to get to 4-0 and and then just try to ride out the storm before Romo and Dez come back. I picked them, and they, they came up short both times. Fought hard, at least for a half against Atlanta, and took it to overtime at New Orleans, but it wasn't enough. So now, I'm sorry, I see New England 40, Dallas 20. <sighs> well, you know, let me say this, Skip Bayless. I'm so proud of you. I mean... I'm, I'm touched. I'm, I'm, I'm touched that, you know, you just came to your Should senses be. at least with one topic for this show. I mean, the fact that you pulled this off once a month is a miracle. So huh. uh, I guess this was your month. I mean, you, you actually sound sane and reasonable. Um, you know, you're always factual. You just leave out the facts you want to leave out because you know it'll hurt your argument. Mm. You look high and low, you know, I, I mean, all over the place for a reason uh, to make a case for your Cowboys, and you came to the conclusion that this just could not happen. And so I'm very, very proud of you that you recognize that for the third consecutive week, the Dallas Cowboys are going to go home losers because that's exactly what's going to happen. 